What's going on there guys, Krahu here and welcome to an absolute slaughter. I mean, it was an absolute slaughter uh, delivered by me um, and <laughs> to make matters worse, this was a pretty legit lobby. I mean, I don't know what the fuck happened to these people. Um, so uh, just enjoy the gameplay and you can be the judge. Um, but yeah, welcome to Call of Duty Black Ops. I am rocking the MPL on one of my favorite maps, Launch. Um, and uh, my, of course, attachment is the dual mag. My perks are hardline, which I never use really. Uh, I just want a quick gameplay, something to uh, talk over. My main topic. And of course, oh yeah, and people started rage quitting, as you guys see. Uh, that's two people already, so I got kind of pissed. And um, what you might call it um, hardline, sleight of hand, and hacker. So these are my three perks. So no time to waste. Black Ops 2. My wish list for Black Ops 2. First of all, no bullshit like this. No bullshit like this. No second chance. No final stand. If I kill you, you die. If for some fucking reason they decide to leave second chance in because people bitch and whine and, and whatever, make shotguns as they already do, snipers and semi-automatic weapons cancel it out. Because it is just ridiculous. It's hard enough to get a kill as it is with this terrible, terrible conne connection which I want improved in the next installment of Black Ops. Um, to make matters worse, it, it's hard enough to shoot a semi-automatic, the bullets go right through and the dude drops, you know, blob shots. Blob shots you. So no blob shot. Please, uh, developers, please uh, make sure that there's no such thing as lag compensation or, or, or blob shotting or any crap like that. Because it would not make for a happy, happy uh, game time. I got extremely lucky here, man. Now, uh, for my Huey. Now, um, as far as killstreaks are concerned, I don't want killstreaks to stack. Personally, I hate them stacking. I want it just the way it was in Black Ops. Currency system, I want to see back. I freaking love that thing. Black Ops has its own thing. I don't want it to go back and be a photocopy of uh, Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare 2 or whatever. Black Ops is its own game. Keep the currency system in. Perks, sure, bring, bring back the flag jacket, but... Make uh, the pro part of flag jacket because I highly doubt that they will remove knife uh, one knife kill. If you're gonna bring bring back flag jacket, excuse me. Screw the uh, uh, you know going through napalm. Make it so that the person wearing it uh, you have to kni knife twice to kill. That's especially on my uh, wish list. Panic knives have to go away. Uh, flag jacket is a legit perk. If you're annoyed by knifing, if you're annoyed by explosions, claymores, and stuff like that, that would be a perfect, perfect perk. Stealth perk. Now, I don't want... <laughs> See, this is kind of a tricky situation because I don't want to really offend anyone. Um, let's bring back Ghost, but... Or Cold-Blooded or whatever the hell kind of name you want. Uh, ghost or Cold-Blooded. But make it so that the normal part makes you immune to the UAV, and the pro part makes you immune to counter UAV. That's fair enough. I mean, a kill streak, uh, a perk should not make you immune to the kill streaks. If they don't stack. If they do, well then whatever. Um, it's still, if you earned your chopper gunner through, you know, nine getting nine kills in a row, you should be able to kill anybody that crosses your path. You've earned that chopper gunner. So no bullshit like undetectable by kill streaks. Make it uh, UAV and pro part immune to counter UAV. I think that's fair enough. Um, as far as the three tiers of, of killstreaks are concerned, like in Modern Warfare 3, I don't really care about that. Although I do, I would bring back these normal killstreaks and add the specialist bonus. How about that? No support type of thing. Uh, I like it, it's okay, but I, it's too much, too much. Uh, now, as far as weapons, lots and lots and lots of weapons. I freaking love new guns in, in games. We've all seen the AK and we we're probably gonna see it again. We've all seen, um, what's that gun called? Well, the AK-74U ain't that bad. Uh, we've only seen it in COD 4 and Black Ops. So, I don't know, but just make it different. And I don't know if they're gonna utilize which kind of sort of engine. Uh, it's definitely gonna be, you know, the old Black Ops engine. Uh, so I'm just gonna make this part one, just like a brief overview, because my time is running out. Uh, so I'm gonna talk more about my wish list in part two. But just to skim the surface of another point that I have is... You get to choose if you want to join a game in progress. That's, I think, fair enough. Don't you guys think? If you have joined game in progress, like it's have done, 
it should ask you, would you like to join this lobby or should I look for a new one? You should have an option, yes, no, whatever, maybe so. Dedicated servers, I doubt it's gonna happen, it's gonna be host to host, you know, P2P or whatever. Um, so I'm not too uh, crazy, don't get too crazy about that, but 36 and 1 is the final score. Look at that guy, 14th prestige and you go 2 and 20, holy shit, what happened? I have no clue, but uh, either way, hope you guys enjoyed part 1 of this two-part series about uh, my wishlist for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. If that's gonna be, of course, the name, I'm just saying in general. Um, please, please leave a thumbs up uh, on this video, 1000 likes would be fantastic, and I will see you next time.